Hi everyone, Tim Sulu here and we'll be talking about our project, Omowe.ai. Omowe is the Yoruba word for scholar. Being a student is difficult already and we can all relate to the struggles of having to navigate vast amount of study materials. As a student, there is the hassle of spending countless hours researching for relevant information, prepping for multiple assessments and ensuring your essays are well written and plagiarism free. All these also can be very stressful. What if I told you there's a solution to take all this pain away? That's where Omowe.ai comes in. Omowe.ai is a suite of AI-powered study assistant tools. We call it your study co-pilot. So first on our list of tools is document search that enables you to perform search across a library of study materials in your own native language, as opposed to using keyword or conventional lexical search. You can search by writing full sentences and get clear answers with reference to the study document. Next, we have the summarization feature that enables you to generate concise summaries, capturing the, exen- the essence of the, st- the original study text. Um, we also have a question generation feature, of course, after the due diligence of reading through large study materials. You like to reinforce your understanding and test your knowledge. This feature helps you to generate practice questions from an input document. And lastly, we have the paraphrasing assistant. We all want our essays to sound well written and pass the plagiarism check. So this feature helps you to do that. Isn't it amazing that we have all this brought to you all on one awesome platform? Okay, so this is what our app looks like. Um, then for the document summarization feature, you can select the language to filter your results by. Um, to test this, I'm going to be using a question, um, the Nigerian Civil War. And let's see what it gives us in response. So this gives us the Nigerian Civil War in Europe. I can go ahead to translate, and this gives us the text in English and also the source URL. I'm going to do one more, um, one more example, the biography of Barack Obama, and let's see what that gives us. Um, so that gives us the biography of Barack Obama, and it also gives us, um, we can translate, but then it's in English and gives us the source URL. There are also other such results that we get that not that are not in English. Okay, so let's move on to the Q and A feature. So say you don't have your document of choice that has been uploaded, but then you want to upload your own document and you want to query it, so you can copy your document or drop a file, or you can also use our example files here. And I'm going to ask the question, um, when in Nigeria, who, um, how did Nigeria get a name? So this is going to give us an, an answer. Um, and I'm also going to ask, um, when did we get independence? It's going to give us a response of, um, based on this document we've uploaded. So we can go ahead and continue to query. For the question, for the summary, um, for summarized feature, you can also load, load um, your example text or copy your own text. You can make settings. So either you want a short summary, medium summary, and either you want bullet points. Um, this is going to give you the um, summary in bulleted points. Then you can also generate practice questions. And this is going to give you five practice questions and answers that you can use to test your understanding. For the paraphrase feature, you can just, um, in order for you to make your essay sound well written, you can copy any text and paraphrase. And this is going to give you um, the new text and it's going to show you the new the additions that were made. So everywhere you see this green highlight shows that an addition has been made. So thank you very much for your time. Feel free so here's how we're able um, to pull this our app. You have mm-hmm. a simple, easy to use front end built with Gradio that accepts user inputs or query text. Then behind the scenes, we have our backend that use a combination of um, Coerce API. We use the doc, we, for the document search, we use Coerce multilingual embedding model. This makes it easy to generate embeddings from documents in over 100 languages. And these embeddings for our use case, we used about 10,000 Wikipedia pages in four different languages and stored this embedding um, in a vector database for document summarization, we use Coerce Summarize API, and for paraphrasing, we use the Generate API. Our business plan is to offer a freemium model to attract and engage students, then later move on to premium subscription. Then um, another key stream of income could be partnering with institutions to have um, personalized and um, customized study materials for their own students. And lastly, we could also sell data to um, for educational research and um, personalized learning. This is our future roadmap where we can have language extension support, um, integrate online libraries and databases and adaptive learning to increase um, difficulty and content based on um, practice questions and student performance. So feel free to check it out, um, clicking the link or scanning the QR code. Um, This was brought to you by my team, Team Solo. Um, Thanks for listening.